Hello dear friends, today I am going to tell you about present continuous tense in English grammar. First of all, I have to tell you that the tenses are very important in English grammar, and I strongly recommend for everybody to learn English tenses very perfectly. Now, let's talk about our today's lesson. Our today's lesson is present continuous tense in English, and we also call this tense as present progressive tense, don't forget this. We use the present continuous tense to express the idea that something is happening now at the time of speaking, in this point, as you see here. It can also be used to show that something is not happening now. Let's look at the example. I'm teaching English on YouTube now. I am doing it right now at the time of speaking. You are learning English on YouTube now from me. That's, I am teaching and you are learning. Both of these actions are happening right now at this moment, at the time of speaking. Don't forget this, the main rule is, and present continuous is this, that the happenings, the things happening right now at the time of speaking. Here you see the helping verbs of the present continuous, am, is, are, that in English also called auxiliary verbs in English. We use am with I, we use is with singular persons, he, she, it, and we use are with we, you, and they. As I said before, the present continuous tense indicates continuing action, something going on now. This tense is formed with the helping verbs am is are, here you see am is are, and the main verb of the sentence with ending ing. Afterwards follows this following this verb object of the sentence and place and time adverbs coming after this. Let's look at the examples. I am teaching English on YouTube now. I said before, I am doing this action right now at the speaking time. And you are learning English on YouTube now from me. You are watching now YouTube this lesson. He, she, and both men and woman names used with is. He is learning English on YouTube now. Emin, she, and Jale is learning English on the YouTube now. We are learning English on YouTube now. You are learning English on YouTube now and they are learning English on YouTube now. Now let's look at how will we make negative sentence structure in present continuous tense. We will put not, you see here not, to the right of the helping verbs m is are, as you see in the picture. We put not to the right m, here to the right is, and in the sentences to the right are. I am not teaching English on YouTube now. You are not learning English on YouTube now. He is not learning English on YouTube now. And here you can see, we can use the short form of the isn't not, isn't, pronounced isn't. She isn't learning English on YouTube now. Jale isn't learning English on YouTube now. We are not learning English on YouTube now. You are not learning English on YouTube now. And they are not or they aren't. This is short form of are and not. They aren't learning English on YouTube now. Now at the end of this lesson, let's look at how will we make the question form of this tense. We will change the place of the helping verbs. As you see, M is R, the place helping verbs we will change and, we'll, and we will put them in front of the subject as you see in this picture. Let's look at the examples. Am I teaching English on YouTube now? Yes, I'm teaching. Are you learning English on YouTube now? Yes, you are learning English now on YouTube, right now. Is he learning English on YouTube now? Is Emin learning English on YouTube now? Is she learning English on YouTube now? 
is Jala learning English on YouTube now? And here we put R, the helper verb, R in front of the subject or a sentence. Are we learning English on YouTube now? Are you learning English on YouTube now? Are they learning English on YouTube now? Thank you for watching. See you on next lesson.